Hey, what's up guys? It's Billy, your Wild Reef Keeper. And um, the tank behind me is about four months old. Um, it's a startup tank, 600 gallons total. And I'm here today, uh, the Sunday maintenance day, to give you guys an update. So um, I've been out of town, um, had a lot of work going on in the house, and uh, some folks watching the tank for me. Everything's looking really good. Uh, I've got to do some maintenance today, um, and I'll show you that in a moment. But um, I did a post recently on Facebook and Insta showing my numbers. Um, I'll post those in my ICPs below. But um, we've been combating a really bad water problem here. So I stepped up my RODI and installed a new aqua effect system downstairs. I've got a great ICP test from that um, back in and um, I'm ready to do a large water change. So I just ICP tested the tank and we are over. Um, on a few elements, one of them being aluminum. Um, and what I'm gonna do today is a 230 gallon water change and that should put all of the numbers in alignment where they need to be. And uh, then I'm gonna do some work in the sump. So with the high aluminum, I was originally thinking that it was coming from the water source. Now after correcting the RODI, it was not any longer um, only in very low levels coming from the water source. So I pulled some BioPure blocks out. Now there's mixed reviews online about the BioPure bl uh, blocks. Some say they leach aluminum, some not. Um, mine I was actually using as a stand for my reef mats. What happened was they were falling apart. So I think that was the cause of the aluminum. They've been out for two weeks now and I've had the largest aluminum drop I've seen in the tank. I've also been very cautious when working on the tank and sticking my whole arm in there. I won't wear deodorant that day, um, things like that. So I'm really being cautious with the aluminum around the tank uh, and don't know where <laughs> that could be coming from. But today we'll completely wipe out um, the aluminum traces. And like I said, check my ICP below if you're interested in um, those numbers. But uh, yeah, let me show you what we got going on. Okay, so here's what we have going on today. I have been soaking this rock to put in the sump. So there's a few pieces that go back into the main tank. I took them off just to clean the algae um, since I was having my uh, ugly phase with the new tank. Um, so let me show you what I have here in the sump. I removed the bio blocks. Um, because I've had aluminum and other metals getting through, I do have a ton of um, Chemipure. You can see the bag there. That's been working great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean that uh, skimmer out and um, add some rock. All of my media bags are in here. Um, so I was going to arrange the rock a little bit around those bulkheads um, to prevent them from floating in there. I also have a circulator pump down there, a gear, uh, just to give movement with all the filtration. There's a ton of aquachars, probably a gallon or two in this tank. Um, what I did here is connect the two reef mats. I'm thinking about shortening that pipe. Um, so that's one project I need to do, might not get to today. Um, and then we're gonna do the large water change and cleaning of the display tank. I love this closet. You guys have commented a lot about it. I think I've spent a total of a month in here with shelving and changing and uh, yeah, it's forever evolving. But um, yeah, here's my work area here. I'm gonna go ahead and replace my carbon blocks. So let me show you the uh, change that I made this week. I actually installed the, um, and I dropped the mount for it, but I installed the Mobius MXM uh, wireless. So everything is now controlled by the Neptune. Um, I've reprogrammed all of these lights. Um, each one is individually controlled by the Neptune. I went ahead and did a quick par test. I'm only running Royal and Blue right now because I'm still combating some algae issues. So I added a ton of virgins. I think there's four sea hairs in there. Um, and we've been uh, pretty much eradicated that in the tank. A lot of that has to do with this clear water algae scrubber. Let me just say, I've had a clear water algae scrubber for six or seven years. When I first set up my 120 gal, um, where, where a lot of this coral from this tank came from, um, 
I'd say it was within three to four months I added the algae scrubber to help control the algae in the tank. So what this does, it grows all of the algae inside of this box. Um, I was having an issue, so I just turned on the light 24 hours a day. Now I'll run it on an opposite schedule of the tank. Um, this is about a two-week harvest. I love their new design. Um, the water just flows in here. Flows down the screen. Lighting is here. Uh, your inlet is from the side here, and it all just drains out um, in the bottom to the tank. Which takes me to the next um, point of business for today. So I've been noticing little particulates floating in the tank, which is natural. I just, I really like to polish my water as much as I can. Um, and with such a big tank, uh, it's, I've never really noticed this as much in my 120 gallons. So um, with the reef mats working just fine here, I have um, manifolds running. So I have pipes like this coming from the algae scrubber and I am going to put filter socks on all of this. This pipe here comes from downstairs from the chiller. That will get another filter sock. Um, I have another tube going in there from the canister filters. That will get a filter sock. Um, so that should really help polish up a lot of the water. The other thing I was thinking to do um, was maybe get like a canister filter or something like that. And rather than spend money on that, I'm like, all right, I have a lot of flow going through those tubes. Let's put some filter socks on there. That should take care of a lot of the issue. I'm also doing like a scrubbing pad here, um, which helps a little bit. But uh, yeah, so here we go. I've got my um, rocks ready to go in and everything ready to go on the pipes. Okay, so I have my 230 gallons behind me. I have added the salt. I have this running on a loop to mix. And um, while that mixes, I'm gonna go ahead and start my sump maintenance because I'm probably gonna stir up some stuff in there. Um, and I'm just gonna suck it out with this large water change. So uh, here we go.